hello friends welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to do the spoon model so let's check the image first so here is our spoon so i'm going to do this part from a spear and then i'm gonna extrude this you know this handle so let's start doing that so i'm gonna hide all those things here so let's do it here so let's take a polygon spear and let's delete let's press f to frame and let's delete almost the half half or maybe more than half till here delete those parts then let's go to scale tool and scale it something like this because the spoon isn't perfectly a circle so it's kind of a stretchy like this and now if you check this area the inside looks black so i'm going to i'm going here inside lighting here and let's turn on two sided lighting so when it's a plane it doesn't have a thickness so one side looks perfectly lighted lighten and the other side looks black because of this thing because of this option which allows us to see which side is the normal and which side is the opposite or the negative side of the normal so let's turn on right now and it doesn't change anything for the model it just illuminate both side okay so now let's do one thing if you see this and you can see this pole here this part of the spoon should be somewhere here uh, this this part should be like deep you can see this part of the spoon should be deep here it's like it's not the, not that deep so i'm going to do one thing select this vertex and press b to turn on soft selection or you can go to move tool and inside that here you can turn on as well so this is my soft selection let's increase the radius here because the radius is still here so hold b and left mouse drag to increase or decrease the radius okay then once i like reach the radius still here i'm going to move something like this now you can see the deep part of the spoon is here like at the end side and this is the tip of the spoon here so from the profile it looks like this and even i can rotate as well and I can try a different look by just rotating okay once i get it then let's select this uh, maybe this vertex and then let's scale it as well something like this so here the spoon is getting narrower towards the handle there okay so like give some time here to properly do these things and let's move this spoon to here somewhere and let's rotate it something like this so this part of the spoon is resting here and this part looks not too straight so let's do something there as well so let's bring this something like this and maybe carefully just need to put So you can press B to like turn off, turn off the soft selection. So here I got this base and then let's extrude to get the thickness. Here I don't have any thickness. So let's select it in object mode and then let's click on extrude. And now I'm going to give some thickness to it like this. Maybe that side maybe. okay something like this and then i'm gonna extrude this two face so let's extrude this two face i can extrude them like manually just extrude and move something like this or i can create a curve and extrude th these faces on that curve so let's see that go to create and create a cv curve so here i'm starting from this side and I'm trying to like create this curve here. 
okay something like this press enter to complete it so i have the curve here and now i want to extrude this two face along that curve so select this two face first then shift hold your shift key then select this curve okay so now i'm not able to select that go to object mode again just to refresh it so let's again go back to face mode and select the curve make sure you are selecting the face first then the curve and then click on extrude now it's being extruded along the curve but we don't have any segments or divisions in between the extrude so that's why it's not aligning with the curve so let's increase let's increase some divisions here so as you increase the divisions it's gonna automatically set it's automatically adjusted the shape as the curve okay so let's increase some divisions there and as if you see towards the end of the handle here it's getting wider okay so let's do that as well so go to thickness and increase the thickness oh it's too much i think so let's increase the thickness like this so you can do this or if you don't want to increase the length then you can do it manually so again by using soft selection as well so let's go select this thing turn on soft selection again you can use this to do that so let's select and scale you can do this as well okay so here is my spoon and press 3 to look to check our spoon it looks good but i'm losing this you no know, thickness here it's getting too sharp there so i'm going to add an edge loop there so let's go to edit mesh or mesh tools insert edge loop and add an edge at the center so let's press 3 again on the keyboard now you can see it's holding much better that thickness i can see that from this highlight okay now let's put some details here so i'm going to select all these faces let's turn off this soft selection so let's select all these faces again i can select easily by just selecting this edge and this edge so just hold shift and double click to get the in between edges so here i have selected the edge loops here now i'm going to convert this edge loop to face to select all those like negative faces so let's hold control right mouse then go to two face here and then to face so to select the faces okay here i'm going to extrude it and then offset it so there isn't any fancy details just a very simple thing okay then i'm going to extrude again by pressing g key then let's use this you know, blue manipulator to give it a depth kind of thing there something like this very simple design okay so let's delete the curve so as you see as you can see when i delete the curve you know giving me a very odd result here it's like kind of taking all those extruded with it so let's do one thing let's select this object and delete the history delete all by type history once the history is deleted then it can't affect the model anymore because there isn't any link between those two okay so this is my spoon here so in the next lesson we are going to see how we are going to do this glass